All right, sorry about that, folks. Just had some technical difficulties there. Um, my internet connection dropped the stream. Um, we should be stable now, though, so uh, let's just keep going. This diagram looks pretty, but it's completely unreadable. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that route. Um, again, it, it's flashy, but completely, completely muddled and unreadable. Fake IDs and everything. All right. Well, uh, uh, sure. I think she means an ID card. She means an explosive? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of the cities in this gigantic mega city of Midgar, a lot of the smaller sections are uh, underground, or at least under plate. There's like two levels of city. That's what he's talking about. It's something that they probably would have shown on that big green diagram, but uh, it, the, again, the resolution was not useful. again. Ah, I suppose that's supposed to be very deep and metaphorical. Or at least commentary on society. <laughs> I forgot how preachy this game is. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious. Let's see here. <laughs> My help arrow is uh, above the box. Let's start off a sec. <laughs> I'm scared of that explosion. Yeah, just feel like that. Can we talk to this guy? What's he say?
Ah, he just doesn't care. Okay. Like I guess, hey, we're kind of discussing top secret terrorist plans, right? In the middle of an open public space. Right next to some guys that... A guy in a uniform that we uh, kind of beat up his counterparts on last time. Earlier in the game here. So everybody went to the left. I think to the right is... Uh, some more of the train graveyard. Um, there are fights there that are a little more higher level. Not really high level, but higher than we're used to. Um, so yeah, we're gonna avoid going there for now. Oh, save point up here. Awesome. Drop. Oops. No, no, not quit. Save. That saves pretty quick. And I don't think I can get in here yet. Big pillar. Very big pillar. Primary support pillar, apparently. <laughs> Very tall pillar. Yeah, okay. Thank you. What about down this way? Yeah, people guarding. Yeah. Um. Okay. Jeez, Barrett. <laughs> uh, no. About what? Oh, yeah, that was, I mean, um, Avalanche. <laughs> Gill. Hmm. What? There are consequences to terrorism? <laughs> that can't be right. We're the good guys, right? <laughs> ah, thank you. No. <laughs> Did I fight with Barrett? Um, no, not really. I mean, yeah, I mean, there was some verbal back and forth, but it wasn't a fight, really, so no. I think she likes that. Ah, yes, this is Tifa. Another character who will join a party at some point. Oh, yeah, we got a flower from uh, that one lady. Tifa is expecting it. Or we could surprise everybody. Hey, I'll give it to Tifa. <laughs> Wouldn't want Barrett getting the wrong idea with Marley there. Sure! Give me a drink! Yeah, sure, whatever. 
Ce? About what? Okay. I'm not interested this time. <laughs> that seemed quicker. Oh, really? I'm trying to talk to Jessica. There we go. There we go. Marlene is shy, apparently. Yeah. That's fine. We'll just, uh, go look at this game thing here, or maybe not. Um, try to leave, maybe? <laughs> yes. Try to leave makes Barrett show up. Uh, okay. So, um, I, I guess there's a lock on that so that a random customer who plays a pinball machine doesn't go down into the secret basement. <laughs> Give me something hard. Um, sure. We'll be uber moody. <laughs> Let's go get our pay there. What's that? Oh, it's Barrett doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Forgot about that part. Yes, I'm a mercenary after all. It's what we do. <laughs> I think we got Baron a little mad. <laughs> After all, 
Cloud's just guns for hire. Or in this case, big sword for hire. All the boys are leaving. Everybody looks about 10 or so. so are they all leaving to become Pokemon trainers? The Great Sephiroth. Papers. Ah, yes. Those were still around in 97. <laughs> I mean, they're still around now. Just, <laughs> just I don't happen to know anyone who has a newspaper subscription aside from my parents. Ever since the internet was was mainstream, made mainstream. They did a nice job on that background there. Okay. He didn't take the pitball machine up? <laughs> Fifteen hundred gil, all right. Oh, I mean, what is that? It's so cheap. <laughs> what? I didn't agree to it. I said three grand. Your daughter's college fund is not my concern. Ah, apparently we slept on the floor in this corner here. That computer has a large monitor by today's standards. And it uh, doesn't look like any of this stuff is uh, clickable. Snoring kept me up. <laughs> and, and then there's that one. Um, did we? I don't know. That one. Yeah. Tifa's going this time. Okay. 
Marlene, a drink, please. They're, they're letting a. What is she? Five? Six, maybe? Is they're letting her serve drinks? We're not gonna think too much about it. Our target sector five reactor. You don't know how to use materia. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> okay, that's a nice way to bypass it, but um, I could probably use a refresher. It's been a while. Just get to the material, come on. I didn't need a uh, tutorial on the whole menu. <laughs> Just the material, please. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you may notice it um, lowers some stats and raises others. It's another way of customizing people. Here about my internet connection again. Let's take a quick look. Uh, nope, we're still on. We're still on the air there. Okay, so. Okay, there we go. Much better. Okay. Sorry about any uh, delay there. Nah, talking about the stat changes there. Give us the advanced tips later, you know, things I wanted to actually refresh on. <laughs> he doesn't get it. <laughs> now they're leaving her in charge of the store. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, okay, let's set up some materia here. Uh, we have landing and ice. Um, let's see here. Let's give Restore to Tifa. in there, apparently. Not that I expected something to be in there, but it's an RPG. You never know. <laughs> uh, okay. Tifa said something about a guy upstairs giving us a weapon. I assume she means in this building here, because there's no real upstairs to the bar building. That I can see, at least. Just 
interesting. We'll take a look. Let's see, we got 2,000 gil. Another long range weapon, we'll take it. Hmm. I think we can afford all three. Yeah. Perfect. left and right on the party members with L1 and R1. Alright, let's go upstairs here. And they mean upstairs, upstairs, or... Let's see. Hey, it's a hopping save point. That's... That's new. Ooh, an all materia. Okay. How you doing, Dougie? How to use the buttons? L1 and R1 are turn? That's... Ah. Run, speak, execute menu, okay. Um, thanks, doggy. Ah, yes, my head is shiny. Oh, <laughs> don't get bad if I don't show up. <laughs> Ah, yes, we already went over that. Like, right now. Yeah, we can turn that on and off. Ooh, it's a fabled save point. This one's much more legendary and majestic than a normal save point, I guess. We can use a tent and or select save. We'll also do something else there, but right now it's a secret. Okay. Sounds good. The treasure chest is talking to me. Yeah, I think that's enough for right now. It's getting a little late. Uh, so yeah, we'll drop one more save and then probably call it a night. There we go. Again, I apologize for the break in the stream in the middle. Our internet decided to cut out there. Um, and um, yeah, we'll continue this at a later date. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Take care.